The new iPhone 10 is pretty awesome, and of course wireless charging is cool, but these charging pads really are ugly. So let's make this one disappear. Hi, Zach here with another Tinker and Build DIY project. This one is pretty straightforward and well worth the effort. The key is going to be keeping the transmitter's coil as close to the phone as possible while still hiding it from view. Step one, remove the front of the case from the charger to get the plastic out of the way. Every millimeter counts. You can also remove the case entirely if you need to save space. I started to take it apart more, but since I want to keep the graphite heat dissipator on this model, it would have been easier to just leave the back intact. Test the charger to make sure you didn't break anything. Step two, we have to carve out a pocket in our piece of furniture. Mine is just a shelf made of scrap board, so it's really easy. If your furniture can be disassembled, that will help, but you could crawl underneath an existing piece if you're dedicated enough. First we trace out where we'll be removing material. The best way to carve out the pocket is with a router. You don't need a CNC, this is not hard to do by hand. Make sure you use eye and ear protection, as a router produces a ton of dust and chips and is quite loud. For best results, only remove a small amount of material at a time. If you're patient and remove only an eighth of an inch at a time, you'll reduce the chances of damaging the visible part of your furniture. I recommend going for 1 16th of an inch on your last pass or two to be safe. You can also use sandpaper at the end to remove a little more material without risking punching through the wood. After you're satisfied with your work, you just have to secure the charger in place. In this case, I'm going for a quick and easy hot glue approach. Now reassemble your furniture and show off your invisible power. Of course, you can get even more advanced with your project, but these basic steps will get you started. If you come up with something cool, share it in the comments. And thanks for watching Tinker and Build.